Hello my dear students and welcome to Zenit Tutorials. In this video lesson, I will be teaching you a very important topic that is mole concept. I know you all are very scared of this concept but I will make sure that after watching this video it will be the most simplest topic of your chemistry. Okay. So if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, right, do it right away. Follow and share with your friends. Now let's start with the mole concept. First, let us study about what mole is so that you are not any more scared about the word mole. Okay, now children see here, you know meter. Okay, now meter is the unit of what children? Meter is a unit of length. Liter is unit of volume. Okay, kilogram is unit of mass. Now children, dozen is a unit of Okay, here every one of you might have got stuck. Dozen is a unit of numbers. Okay, if I say one dozen apples, it means there are 12 apples. Okay, if I say two dozen bananas, it means 12 into 2 that is 24 bananas. So, whenever I am talking about the word dozen, whichever physical quantity it is, a dozen means there are 12 units of that quantity. Right, so a dozen is a unit of number. 12 dozen bananas here will be equal to 12 dozen bananas somewhere else. So, dozen is a unit of number and which signifies which number? 12. Okay, 12 units. Now, children, mole is a unit of numbers too. Right, for example, meter is a unit of length. Similarly, centimeter is also a unit of length. And kilometer is also a unit of length. But centimeter measures small length. Whereas kilometer measures a very big length. Similarly, dozen measures a very small number that is 12. But when we are talking about subatomic particles like atoms or molecules or any subatomic particles like proton, neutron or any ions, then we can't count 12 numbers because there are millions. So, mole is a unit of big numbers. So, in chemistry mole is a unit of number which is equal to 6.023 into 10 raised to power 23. So, mole is a unit of this number. Okay. So, mole is a unit of number and that number is 6.023 into 10 raised to power 23 and that number is also known as Avogadro's number. So, let us know what mole is. This is very clear from, uh, from here that what mole is. Mole is a collection of particles. How many particles? These many particles. So, mole is a collection of particles or the amount of substance that contains this particle which is equal to this much. Okay. So, mole is a collection of particles or the amount of substance which contains particles equal to 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 and this number is known as Avogadro's number. So, how can we define Avogadro's number? ये उतना नंबर है जितना कि वन मोल में होता है। So number of elementary units in one mole of a substance is called Avogadro's number. It is also defined as number of atoms present in 12 grams of carbon 12. Okay, so 12 grams of carbon 12 में कितने atoms होंगे? वो भी 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 होते हैं। Now to understand this definition more better. And to solve all the sums within 10 seconds, let me tell you a very good magic formula. I call this as magic formula. Now, listen here. We are taking an analogy, a very weird analogy, but it will explain you the concept very well. Suppose you go to a shopkeeper and tell him to give you one mole of sodium atoms. So, I said one mole is equal to this many atoms. So, if I say one mole of sodium atoms, it is this many atoms. If I say one mole of sodium molecules, then it is this many molecules, right? So, you have said that, brother, give me one mole of sodium atoms. De do. So, will he sit and count these many atoms for you? Okay, he won't sit and count these many atoms for you, right? So, what he will do is, he will take some quantity and weigh it. It will mass. So, how much quantity will take? It will take the atomic mass, atomic or molecular mass of the substance. Now, since we are asking for atoms, so he will take atomic mass. So, what is the atomic mass of sodium? 23. So, what will he do? 23 grams, weigh it and give you 
एंड ही विल से दिस इज वन मोल ऑफ सोडियम एटम्स तो आप बोलोगे कि इसमें कितने पार्टिकल्स है भैया तो बोलेगा कि उसमें इतने एटम्स है सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू थ्री इंटू टेन डिस्ट पर ट्वेंटी थ्री सो वन मोल ऑफ एनी सब्सटेंस करस्पॉन्ड्स टू दिस मेनी एटम्स इट ऑल्सो करस्पॉन्ड्स टू द एटोमिक मास तो अगर आप ट्वेंटी थ्री ग्राम्स लोगे तो वो भी वन मोल है और सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू थ्री इंटू टेन डिस्ट पर ट्वेंटी थ्री एटम्स लोगे तो वो भी वन मोल है ना सपोज यू वॉन्ट अ फ्लूड ओके आप कहते हो कि मुझे ब्रोमिन वाटर चाहिए ठीक है वन मोल तो अब वो कैसे देगा उसका तो मास नहीं निकाल सकते तो उसका वॉल्यूम निकालेंगे सो वन मोल करस्पॉन्ड्स टू दिस इट ऑल्सो करस्पॉन्ड्स टू दिस एंड इट ऑल्सो करस्पॉन्ड्स टू वॉल्यूम एट एस टी पी विच इज ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फोर लीटर्स तो किसी भी सब्सटेंस का किसी भी फ्लूड का अगर आपको वन मोल चाहिए तो डैट अमाउंट विल बी ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फोर लीटर ऑफ डैट सब्सटेंस और ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फोर डेसीमीटर so if you follow this you will be able to solve all type of sums because they'll give you two moles mein kitna hai okay kuch uh, particles de denge utne particles mein kitna mole hai utne particles mein kitna liter hai so everything is interrelated you just have to learn this and then i will tell you how to apply this we will follow simple unitary method and solve all type of sums so let us go ahead with it and solve few sums now children let us do few sums so as to understand the topic more clearly now look at the sum here calculate the number of moles of nitrogen in 7 grams of nitrogen and they have given in the box the mass of nitrogen so now you should remember they have not mentioned atoms here okay so it has to be nitrogen gas and nitrogen gas is like this n2 so we have to take the molecule so calculate the number of moles of nitrogen in 7 grams of nitrogen so you have to whenever you read the question you have to think about two things what they have given and what they have asked they have asked number of moles and they have given some mass so seeing the magic formula they have given we will mark two things they have asked number of moles and they have given mass so these two things right so we will equate these two things and take care that whatever thing is asked has to be on right hand side so they have asked number of moles on right hand side so i will write standard that we know that atomic mass or here in case it is molecular mass so we will write molecular mass corresponds to 1 mole and since nitrogen atomic mass is 14 so molecular mass will be 28 So twenty-eight grams will correspond to one mole. First, we will identify what two questions are asked. We will pick up from there. We will keep the thing which is asked on the right hand side, and will first write the standard. Then we will write. Uh, see here, what is asked? Seven grams. So here it is asked seven grams. Seven grams. Me, how many moles are there? Correct. It becomes so simple. Now this is unitary method. this is right hand side divided by left hand side into the ask thing that is 7 so it is 7 on the 7 7 fourths are so it is 1/4 mole so 1/4 mole is 0.25 moles so the answer is 7 grams of nitrogen contains 0.25 moles now in the second question they have asked to calculate the mass of 50 cc cc is centimeter cube So calculate the mass of 50 cc of CO that is carbon monoxide at STP. So kya do quantities de rakhi hai 50 cc that is volume and mass. So here is mass and here is volume. Okay. Now which thing is asked? Calculate the mass. So mass we will write this side. Okay. This is a molecule. So molecular mass is on right hand side and. Twenty-two point four liter standard is on left hand side. So after writing this, we will see again here fifty cc they have asked. Okay, so twenty-two point four liter ko in cc we can write two two four zero zero. Okay, we multiply it with thousand. So two two four zero zero cc gives you the molecular mass. So two two four zero zero. CC has given you what is the molecular mass of carbon monoxide? Carbon is twelve and oxygen is sixteen, so it becomes twenty-eight. So this is twenty-eight grams. These many CC 
is 28 gram. Therefore, in the question they have asked 50. So, for 50 it will be how much? Correct? So, right hand side upon left hand side 28 upon 22400 and what is asked that is 50 into 50. So, we will solve this and find out the mass in grams. I hope this is very clear. Let's move on to the third question. Actually, look at the third question. It states, calculate the volume at STP occupied by these many molecules of a gas. So, volume or these molecules. So, this and this. Okay, first we will take this. Now, calculate karne ko kya bola hai? Volume. So, volume is taraf rahega. So, 22.4 is taraf rahega and number of particles will be this side. Okay. So, calculate the volume at STP occupied by these many molecules of a gas S. So, we will write 6.023 into 10 to the power molecules gives this many liter. Therefore, in the question it is 6.022 into 10 to the power 22. Okay. We will give you how much. So, right hand side upon left hand side. into what is given. This is a simple unitary method that we follow. Okay. So, we can cut this and this. But here it is 23. Here is, it is 22. 23 ko agar hum upar laenge. So, it will be minus 23 here. So, it becomes 22.4 into 10 raised to power. 22 minus 23 is minus 1. So, it becomes 2.24 liters. Okay. So, this is how you will solve such sums. Now, let us go on to question number 4. Calculate the number of molecules in 1 kg of NaCl. So, number of molecules pucha hai or mass. In dino ko hum equate karenge. Or calculate karne ko kya bola hai? Number of molecules ko. So, this will be right hand side. So, 6.023 into 10 raised to power 23 molecules will be on right hand side. On left hand side we will put molecular mass. So, molecular mass is corresponding to this. So, what is the molecular mass of NaCl? 23 plus 35.5. So, it becomes 58.5. So, 58.5 grams is giving you how many Molecule 6.023 into 10 raised to power 23 molecules. Therefore, they have asked for 1 kg. So, 1 kg is how many grams students? 1000 grams. So, 1000 gram will give you how much? So, this is right hand side. Upon left hand side. Into what is asked. So, this is how you will solve this and write these many molecules. Now children in exam, okay, you might not have time to solve this, okay. So just put a dash and write molecules or else just write molecules here, okay. And then solve in the end after you finish your paper and then solve in the end. Because in chemistry paper you get a lot of time in the end. So you can do this in the end. First finish the question paper and then solve it. Even if you leave it in fraction, even if you leave it like this, only half marks are cut and most of the times it is not even cut. So, do this solution in the end and always when you write the final answer, suppose your answer is 22.4 into 10 raised to power 2, you will not leave it like this because in physics, uh, you have to write the answer as 2 point. Ek ke baad point lagate. So you will write 2. Aap isko yahan le jayenge. Or 2 ko aise piche le jate. So it is 2.24 into 10 raised to power 3. Decimal ko aage liya. To exponent ko piche le te. So you will write the answer as 2.24 into 10 raised to power 3. So this is how you will solve all the questions related to moles. Now in our next video kids. I have, I have shown few examples of your numericals of questions of moles in relation to Gay-Lussac laws, Avogadro law and other laws. So, this is purely mole. In the next video, we have made numericals in which we combine mole concept with other concepts of this chapter. So, go ahead and watch that video also and if you like it, please do comment. It gives us a lot of encouragement. 
and please share the video with your friends thank you